Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to get that new Discord forum channel. And right now, I'm gonna take you step by step here, like literally from step one. So let's get started right here. So if you don't have a channel yet, this is the first thing you wanna do. Click on that plus icon on the very low section of your server. You'll see a lot of solvers here on my end, so don't afraid if you don't have any servers yet. So click on that plus icon, create my own server, like so. You can choose for me and my friends or for a club community. Not really sure if you don't have one, skip this question for now. But for me, I'm gonna go for me and my friends. I'm just name this one, sample server, like so. Click create, and I'm good to go. And with this one, once you have it inside, click on that server settings, this one right here, okay? Once you click on it, you'll open up this option inside Discord server settings. And once you're inside here, go look for a community, this one right here, enable community. By the way, before I click enable community, you can upload your image on your server on this option right there. And then that way, click on enable community right there, click on get started. Basically, just click on next on everything. Simply click on next, click on next one more time, and simply click on finish setup. Basically, that's going to be it. And once you have it, you have enabled community. And that being said, go back and escape. And you'll see this forms right there. Now on your channel, you can click the plus icon to create a forum channel like so. If you don't see it on your end just yet, just go to under the server and then go back on your sample server and you'll see it right back. If not, you can just press reload or control R and discord will start. Basically, that's it. Now, let's create a server. So simply click on plus icon, click on forum like so. Name of the forum, of course, let's just say sample forum like so again before you create just want to keep you updated that the tip for you is make it a private channel on the first step because if you don't make a private channel and you have your friends over in this server they can spam it and you're gonna be a hard time managing the server so make it a private channel first click on next and then for moderators you can skip this one we don't need it just yet and here we have it once you have created your forum channel you'll see these guidelines Basically, they're gonna be checklists on what to do first until you have it all together before you make it public or remove the private server option, right? Now on this end, skip this recommended permission because if you click on this one, Discord will set it up. You don't have any manual setting up on your end. You don't get to choose basically. So we don't want this. So the first thing you wanna do is create post guidelines. To create post guidelines, simply click on this option right there, click on it. And you'll overview this option. So basically, this is the part where we create our guidelines. Let me just type in sample guidelines, like so. Give me a second here. And we're gonna put a very brief guidelines here to save you some time. So be punctual, like so, and respectful. Basically, that's gonna be it. You can put anything you want here. Of course, don't forget the emojis. The emojis or the bold letters here that are the very important part of Discord. Put it right there perfect of course don't forget the tags so tags help people organize you can use your tags later on i'll show you how to use them properly once we have set it up okay so with this one i'm just gonna create a tag and then with this one we're gonna choose a tag for example i want this one for valentine's day i'm gonna go for relationship perfect and then you can click on this option if you want only moderators to apply tag but for me since i don't want it on this one i'm not gonna check it so simply click on save and then click on this button don't forget this one okay and that being said we're good to go here so you can select an emoji for example your default reaction i'm gonna go with this one perfect create tag one more time make sure everything is good just want to make one more in the heart section i'm gonna put valentine's perfect click on save and we have two tags right now also on this lower part this is a more advanced option for slow mode and messages, basically members will be restricted in creating one post for this interval. For example, if I put an interval of 15 minutes, each member cannot post a consecutive post between 15 minutes. If you get it, for example, if they posted one photo, they cannot post again in another 15 minutes. I suggest you put this to zero because your channel or server may be boring if you put an interval. Anyway, that's going to be your own preference. So again check this one out 
Of course, the default layout is going to be list or gallery. This is by your own preference. This is actually by your own preference up to this point. Also, this over right here, make sure you click on age restricted if you have some kids with you or not. And then hide after an activity. I'm going to put your three days here by default. I'm going to click on save changes and I'm good to go here. So I have my tag, my emoji, everything is good here. Next one, I'm gonna remove this one. Now I have my own community guidelines. Next up, tags. So as you can see right there, we already have created post guidelines. We have that default reaction. Now let's create some tags. Click on this option right here. And with that one, create a tag to help people organize their posts. I'm gonna type in this one right here. Just type everything you want. Perfect. I think we have it right there. And save changes. We have it all over here. Next up, make the first post to say examples. Click on it. And then this is the one I'm talking about. Here is the tag from earlier. If you click on it, this post is filtered by that tag. Remember, I told you that tags are for organization purposes. This is what I'm talking about. Next one, let me just remove that one. Sorry about that. If you put in a subject here, for example, sample post, like so, you can put a thumbnail for more organization purposes. I'm just going to put this one right here. And then emoji, of course, don't forget about it. Again, guys, this is going to be by your own preference. You can choose everything you want here. This one right here is post guidelines. If you click on it to see the members, what is the guidelines you put? So I'm going to click on post like so in the tile sample. And give me a second here. Click on post. Also, if you click on this one, you can see preview before posting it. So click on post. And I have one post right now. If you're familiar with Facebook, Twitter, of course, Reddit, it's much like posting a post in those social media platforms. Imagine Facebook and Reddit came in Discord. That's the idea of forums here. Now, if you post a photo or posted a post rather, you'll see it open up on the right side. You'll have option to react, of course. You'll have options to unfollow and follow. You'll have options to copy the link. Now, if you copy the link and send it to your friends on Discord, if you, if they click that link, of course, like so, they'll open up this server. Basically, that's the idea here. Of course, if you click on three dots right there, you can unfollow the post, pin the post, edit tags, open a split view. However, edit tags and pinning the post is for moderators only. You can close the post, like so. Let me just go back to stack server. And then if you close the post, it will remove on the right side. If you open up one more time, it will open up. Basically, that's the idea. If I delete the post like so, perfect. It will be deleted all the way. So I'm going to create one more because I want to show you something here. Give me a second. If I search the post here, the filter, for example, sample, I'll see the most written sample post with my results like so perfectly right there now you'll see right here that on our getting started option we still have one item that isn't finished yet and that is basically the one earlier on the recommended status we don't need that of course if you don't want to travel yourself on giving discord the authorization on setting up your account or server so right now you have set up your forum and basically that's it you can browse here for the rules you can edit the channel here for your rules and permission. For example, this one right here, follow rules like so. Click on save changes, go back, and you'll have it right there. You have your events here. Of course, there are no upcoming events. You can create an event there like so for voice channel or somewhere else. It's going to be by your own preference. Basically, that's it. It's just like your social media platform, engaging people, basically having a community inside server of discord basically that's it so have some fun thank you so much for watching please hit the like button subscribe i'll catch you guys in the next one goodbye for now